Well, good morning, peeps. How are we doing today? Um, it's Sunday, the 6th of December, and uh, I decided to do something different today. I want to come out on a trail, and I'm going to do some geocaching. I haven't done that for absolutely donkeys. Uh, and there's some new trails that have been around near where I live. So I'm starting in a small village called Greens Norton. By the way, if you don't know what geocaching is, um, it is basically, I'm going to be looking for hidden boxes. Uh, my husband calls it finding Tupperware in the woods, which is exactly what it is. So there are some boxes that are perhaps in hollows of trees or in holes of walls and things like that. And they, yeah, they give you little hints on the app. And um, yeah, we'll go, we'll go and see if we can find them. I think there's about 30 of them, so we'll see how many we get uh, before I get bored. But it was also an opportunity to test out this new pack. Um, Cause it's all right doing videos and stuff like that and putting it on inside your house or walking around the garden. But it's actually different when you're on a, a bit of a longer hike. So I've got probably about 12 pounds in my pack. So let's go see what happens today. I've got an extra challenge cause look at the weather. It's a bit foggy, right. Let's crack on and see you in a bit. All right, so we've reached our first one, and the hint is post to the right, look in the tree. Um, so it's about 100 feet from here. So I don't know if it's this one or further up. So we'll go and have a look. This one was post to the right, look in the tree. Um, so on the GPS, it says it's around 15 feet from here. So I'm assuming it is that tree. That's uh, and there's posts. So I'm assuming it's somewhere down here. So I'll see if I can put you down and uh, I'll go and have a look for it. <laughs> it's a bit foggy and a bit cold. First one. So this is it. So this is the first year cache. They're not all this big. So some of them can be like dinky. Um, but what we do is we open it up and inside will be a log book. Uh, and then Got a, I've got a pen on me and I will sign the logbook so other people have signed this. Should we have a look and see when was the last person to sign this? Okay, so it was last found on the 11th of November this year, so that's awesome. Okay, then what you do is once you've signed it, you put the logbook back and then you rehide the geocache and then I log it on the app to say that I found it. So uh, that's over a thousand I found now. So I'm going to stick this back and uh, we'll go on to the next one. So this is number two. Um, and this one's called Post and Bush. And literally I just walked up here and you can see it immediately. <laughs> that's not hidden that well, is it? But I suppose unless you knew that's what you were looking for. Ouch. There you go. I think I'll put it in that way when I put it back. So I need to sign this one. Get it sorted. Ow, that one hurt. Geocache number three is actually on this road junction, so it actually makes a nice change to get off that muddy field. Um, but the hint is tree stump covered in ivy. Now, if you're a keen geocacher, you'll know that ivy caches are like the world's worst. So uh, let's hope this one is a quick find. Let's see if we can find it. Tree stump covered in ivy. Can't see a tree stump. Let's put you down and I'll go hunting. of living in the country. How am I going to get over there? This is absolutely thick mud. So, uh, cache number five, I'm going to put it as a DNF. A DNF is a did not find. And that's mainly because I couldn't get through that mud without just getting absolutely filthy. And I've got a long way to go, yeah. So I'll come back and get that one another day. All right, on to the next one. Right, so shall I give you a bit of an update on this pack? So shoulders, absolutely fine, no problems there. The pockets are weird. Um, I know it sounds really strange, but they open backwards. So you know when you open a pocket, you usually go from front to right. Where these pockets, they go from back to front. 
Well, she's back to front. It's very, very strange. So uh, that's taken me a little bit of getting used to. Um, my jacket is riding up as well. Um, I don't know why that is. I think it's because I'm bending over a lot to do camera work and things like that. So maybe that's what that is. But uh, yeah, um, with regards to weight and actually carrying well, it seems to be okay so far. Uh, we'll see how All right, found number five. So this is this one. This is crazy, but I had to come down this ditch there and it was hidden in the view of the tree so uh yeah that wasn't fun a bit slip slidey and uh, use your muscles haven't used for a while <laughs> so let's put this one back that's number five let's head on to number six right so this is the next one it says stand this is the hint stand in the ditch and look at the right side of the tree so i've got to get down into this ditch it must be over there somewhere i'll see how i can find it Uh, you got to admit, we do live in an absolutely stunning, beautiful area, apart from the horse manure, of course. But yeah, absolutely fantastic. Really enjoying today. Um, I haven't been out geocaching for probably a good six, seven months, something like that. And I de definitely haven't done uh, any sort of volume of caches. It might just be the odd one or two. Uh, but I hope you've enjoyed this today. I think I've got a few more to get before I get back to Greens Norton. I've probably done about four miles or so which I know doesn't sound a lot but today wasn't about mileage today was just about getting out in the fresh air uh, and enjoying something that I haven't done for ages so uh, yeah I love it all right let's crack on all right so this one's called where the mice live so if you're into geocaching you'll often notice that there's a geocaching trail where people have like so it more or less leads you to it so let's just Follow this down. Oh, another bloody ditch. I had so many ditches today. Actually, I think I can spot it. Look, can you see the. Let's have a look and see if that is it. Ah. Okay. It's got to be, hasn't it? Oh, that's quite cute. There's a little mouse in there. Can you see? I think that's the geocache. I think there's a mouse in there. Oh, something's in there. It's weird. Really I don't know what it is. I'm going to put my fingers in. Uh, uh, I think they're just finger things. Right, let's get this one signed. Awesome. <laughs> Right, so just got back and uh, it was about five miles in the end. I think I did nine geocaches, not really sure. Um, I'll put them on the screen. But yeah, really good fun. If you haven't geocached, then just go and have a look. Just literally download the app from the App Store. It's available on iOS and Android. Click from your home and you I guarantee there'll be one within at least a mile from where you live. And, you know, I've geocached all over the world from New York to the Caribbean to Iceland. They were fun, a bit chilly. Um, but yeah, absolutely love it. And uh, it was good to get out there. I haven't done it for, for ages. Um, the pack, um, pack held up really, really well. It was really comfortable. Um, the only thing that I found was a pain was that the, um, the pockets open up backwards. I've got to get my head around that. Uh, and um, it was making my jacket ride up, but I think that's probably more to the jacket rather than the pack. Uh, once I took it off and pulled it down, that was it. It was fine for the for the rest of the duration of the trip. So, uh, I don't know, see how it gets on with uh, a longer hike than more than just five miles. Anyway, I'm waffling, so that's me done for today. Don't forget, get outside, get inspired, go take a hike when you can, go and find a geocache if you can, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everyone. Ta-da. Bye for now. Ta-da.